To access the data analyst feature go to the cart setup screen and you will note there is a button here saying data analyst. If having first installed the software you press this button then a message is displayed there are currently no records to view you must first save a record to data analyst. Press OK and you will see uh, a new track option comes here. Well of course to save a record to the data analyst you first need to enter the track location. So let's do that entering my local track Three Sisters Club. Save it. So let's try and save a record to the data analyst. And again a message reports that you need to enter a lap time and of course a flashing box indicates where you need to enter the lap time so quickly dial up a lap time and now let's press save and as you can see the record saves to the data analyst if we enter the data analyst now you can see that the record has been saved and records selected in this top data grid are displayed in the graphic below. Let's return to cart setup and enter a couple more records. Quickly amending some of the data on the cart. Then perhaps a final record so now we have three records in the data analyst. All of the data recorded here is listed in this grid. Using these controls you can quickly scroll to view all of the records. Of course the data analyst is able to store thousands of records that you will build up over your years of competition. You can sort in ascending or descending order by clicking the title of any particular column. So this column is now sorted with the quickest lap time at the top, the next quickest and then the next quickest and so on. And similarly tyre pressures can be sorted in the same way as can any of the columns. If you select a record in the top then the data is populated here. You can edit any of the values displayed above and indicated here. So let's quickly change this to slicks and reduce its lap time correspondingly. And then click save and as you can see the data is now saved and the lap time changed. You can enter comments here for any and all of the records which is a very useful feature as when comments have been entered you are then able to search this field for any data you enter here or of course any of the other data within this screen so having entered the comments Save the comments and as you can see they are now displayed. If I select another record they've gone, select the record again, the comments are saved. It is a good idea to record here various driver debriefing comments after each session. And of course the high and low jet are displayed here as a result of the high and low jet being displayed on this screen. If you change the carburetor type here then of course when you save a record then the needle clip positions will be displayed. So you can see very quickly you will be able to build a comprehensive database for all of your cart sessions and every time you go to the track you will be able to record each session, the lap time, location 
and of course all the details of the cart setup. Now the advantage of using this system is that you will be able to see at a glance the fastest setup for a particular track location and the adjustments required that have improved your cart chassis handling. Now of course when this set of records amounts to many hundreds the search feature will be invaluable. If you press this button then the search feature is enabled and whichever item of data you select will be searched for either a single item or in this case multiple items. Let's press the search and we find one record only. When you search the records in this fashion this book is displayed here to indicate to you that this is not all of the records in the data analyst and this label changes here to filter total and of course displays the number of records within the filtered data set. To return to display all of the records simply press this button and the remaining three records are displayed. Now to use this feature to help your racing program I would suggest it is used in this fashion. Select your track location from the list that you will build up. Sort your lap times to find the quickest lap and of course highlight it and this represents the quickest lap and setup at your chosen track. If you now press load cart setup then all of the data from the data analyst is now transferred into the cart setup screen. This enables you to transfer this to your cart chassis, go out and complete another track session, enter your lap time and hopefully it is quicker and save the setup to the data analyst again adding to your records. Of course having completed that session you may find for instance that you need to adjust tyre pressures, quickly record your chassis change and perhaps you flatten the back torsion bar and maybe remove the front torsion bar. Go out and complete another track session. Record your lap time, which again hopefully is a further reduction, and save your chassis setup. By working methodically in this fashion, you quickly build a considerable database of chassis setups, and later you will be able to reflect and study these changes to establish the optimum setup for your cart chassis. You can also print cart setup sheets by simply selecting the record you would like to print, select the record where we entered comments, press the print setup and let's choose print table. My default printer for the purposes of this tutorial is Adobe Acrobat. Press yes. This is the printed version of the cart setup selected in Data Analyst. And as you can see it is a tabular format detailing all of the chassis adjustments. I think you'll agree using Data Analyst is vastly superior to completing paper cart setup sheets that quite frankly will be left at home gathering dust. Being able to quickly search and sort your data to provide the quickest lap time and review driver comments and any notes recorded at the time you actually complete the track session provides the ultimate feedback and reference feature for any kart racer.